Freedom. Freedom. Freedom over, over me. Why in 2020 are we even having this conversation? Again, why in 2020 are we still having this conversation? You see, our people created these racist institutions. We developed psychological warfare against black people over generations and generations. And this was only after atrocious acts of violence, physical violence, were not so easy to get away with. Time and time again, we tried to keep the black community down and hopeless. And time and time again, they rose to overcome, as they shall continue to do so. And before I be a slave, no justice, oh, no cease. No justice, no seat. Here on the step of City Hall, we say no justice, no seat. Children are dying, their mothers are shedding tears. Walking down the street shouldn't have to be one of my fears. Thinking I might get shot and killed because of the way my skin appears. Trying to find ways to say my skin is not a threat. But no one is listening until it's posted on the internet. Sandra Bland, Brianna Taylor, George Floyd. I'll be buried in my grave. I think it is woefully sad that in 2020, we have to be educating people about the black race in America. It's sad to say that racism is still around. Cops putting innocent black men into the ground. So until there is change, I will not rest. Until there is change, I will continue to protest. Because it does not matter what color my face is. That does not determine where my place is. So until then, I'm going to say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. And go home to my Lord and be free. Freedom.